god, you guys! Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today, we're counting down our picks for the top 10 moments from the Legally Blonde franchise. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at those scenes or songs that stood out as particularly memorable from the first two films and the musical. What, like it's hard? Whoever said orange is the new pink was seriously disturbed. Number 10, Elle rejects Warner, Legally Blonde. You are the girl for me. Really? Things couldn't be going better for Elle at the end of the first movie. She won Brooke's trial, and now Warner has come crawling back too. We all remember why Elle applied to Harvard in the first place. If I'm gonna be a senator, well, I need to marry a Jackie, not a Marilyn. This is why we're all cheering her on when she sets Warner up to believe that they're about to get back together, before delivering this rather satisfying blow. I've waited so long to hear you say that. But if I'm going to be a partner in a law firm by the time I'm 30, I need a boyfriend who's not such a complete bonehead. Elle cleverly chooses her words to mirror the heartless way Warner broke up with her at the start of the film, bringing this story arc to a nice close. We were always Team Emmett anyway. Number 9. Bruiser is Gay, Legally Blonde 2, Red, White, and Blonde Why would she have testosterone? That wasn't a skirt, it was a skort. Men wear skorts. Uh -huh. What the heck is a skort? And what does a man wearing one got to do with it anyway? This scene probably wouldn't play out the same way today, but we still chuckle at how clueless Elle and Senator Stan Marks are when it comes to their beloved pets. After an urgent call from the doggy day spa, they come running in, only to be assured that their pets are fine and have just been exercising a healthy sexual appetite. But your Rottweiler has been humping your little dog. And vice versa. They're both super proud of their pooches, but still don't seem to see the full picture. Although we understand where this conversation is going, it still takes the receptionist having to spell it out for them for the ball to finally drop. The canines are both male. Your dogs are gay. Number 8. Positive. Legally Blonde the Musical Wouldn't life be great if we all had a Greek chorus to sing and dance our problems out with? L, this is a tragedy, and every tragedy needs a Greek chorus! Greek chorus! In this catchy number, Elle has just learned that Warner has a new girlfriend, and she's understandably heartbroken. Although her friends provide some rather questionable advice, this song also highlights the benefits of female friendships, and the lengths women go to have each other's backs. Keep it positive! Her friends break down their advice in a rap that culminates in a dance break, and we dare you not to be tempted to shake your junk to the music too. Number 7. Paulette Gets Her Dog Back, Legally Blonde I'm Elle Woods, Miss Bonifante's attorney, and I'm here to discuss the legal situation at hand. One thing's for sure, everyone could use a friend like Elle Woods. And having someone with a good grasp of the law on your side isn't too bad either. Elle uses her newfound legal knowledge to help Paulette and her dog reunite after Paulette's evil ex-boyfriend forced them apart. Miss Bonifante is entitled to full canine property ownership and will be enforcing said ownership right now. While it warms our hearts to see Paulette back together with her treasured fur baby, it's when she takes Elle's legal jargon and turns it into layman terms for her ex that makes this scene totally unforgettable. I'm taking the dog, dumbass. Number 6, Oh My God You Guys, Legally Blonde the Musical. Oh my god, oh my god you guys, who's like Elle's gonna win the prize? This song is the perfect opener to the stage musical. Elle is getting engaged, and everyone is really psyched. So what better way to let out that excitement than to sing about it? Some of the lyrics may be somewhat outdated, but one thing is made clear. No man can supersede the sacred bond of sisterhood. Now that a man chose you, your life begins today. Make him a happy home, waste not his hard-earned wage. Even when Elle finds herself in a shopping crisis with a less than friendly sales assistant, she can rely on her friends, and Bruiser of course, to be by her side. The song takes all the best bits of the film's first few scenes and leaves us excited for more.
Number five, the graduation speech, Legally Blonde. But in my three years at Harvard, I have come to find that passion is a key ingredient to the study and practice of law and of life. Ella is on a winning streak by the end of the film, so it's no surprise that she's elected to be the class speaker at graduation too. You must always have faith in people. And most importantly, you must always have faith in yourself. Her words are powerful, touching, and motivational, and even Bruiser joins in when everyone gives her a standing ovation. Originally, the film was meant to end at the courthouse, with Emmett kissing Elle on the steps before fast-forwarding to Elle and a newly blonde Vivian handing out blonde legal defense fund leaflets. This ending didn't test well with audiences, who were more invested in Elle's journey rather than a typical romantic comedy ending. We couldn't agree more. Congratulations, class of 2004. We did it! Number four, What You Want, Legally Blonde, the musical. What you want is when your boyfriend dumps you for not being serious, naturally the next move is to follow him to Harvard Law School, right? This song sees Elle part with her inner party girl to get into the prestigious Ivy League institution and win Warner back. She has all the credentials, but the admissions board still isn't convinced. So, Elle pulls out all the stops with her entourage in tow to prove that she's Harvard material. We're not sure if it's the killer choreography, Elle's unshakable determination, or her faith in love that wins them over. But sure enough, Elle gets exactly what she wants. Welcome to Harvard! Number 3. What, like it's hard? Legally Blonde. Don't we wish we could all be as cool as Elle is when she sees her ex for the first time after a breakup? Warner? <sighs> I totally forgot you go here. It's the first day of school, and Elle decides to act totally aloof when she sees Warner in the hallway. Uh, I'm sorry, are you here to see me? No, silly. I go here. You, you go where? Harvard. Law school. He arrogantly assumes Elle is there to see him, which makes it all the more satisfying when she nonchalantly delivers this iconic line. You got into Harvard Law? What, like it's hard? Legally Blonde has no shortage of memorable one-liners, but watching Warner struggle to pick his jaw up from off the ground as Elle walks away always hits the spot. Number 2. Bend and Snap, Legally Blonde if you grew up in the noughties, not only would you have heard of the bend and snap, you'd also know it has a 98% success rate. And don't pretend you haven't tried it. I think I dropped something on the floor that I need to pick up. So you bend and snap. Elle tries to teach the move to Paulette to build her confidence with men, and soon everyone in the salon wants a piece of the action. Initially, the scene was going to be a whole musical number, and not the scene that we all know and love today. However, if they had stuck with plan A, we assume it would have looked a little something like what ended up in the musical. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. Nice outfit! <laughs> Oh, I like your outfit too, except when I dress up as a frigid bitch, I try not to look so constipated. Think of the guy you want most to be, is your chance to make it, so take it like a man. I feel comfortable using legal jargon in everyday life. I object. Number one, winning Brooke's case with hair care. Legally Blonde. Because isn't it the first cardinal rule of perm maintenance that you're forbidden to wet your hair for at least 24 hours after getting a perm, at the risk of deactivating the ammonium thyglocolate? While everyone else is playing by the book, Elle sticks out like a sore but beautifully manicured thumb. She shows that even lawyers can work with integrity, and ultimately it's her instincts, out-of-the-box thinking, and street smarts that win Brooke's case. And if, in fact, you weren't washing your hair, as I suspect you weren't because your curls are still intact, wouldn't you have heard the gunshot? It takes time for her confidence to build, but as soon as perm maintenance becomes an integral part of the case, she is totally in her element and keeps the entire court on the edge of their seats as she uses her unconventional skills to prove Chutney's guilt. 
If we were ever on trial, we know we'd want Elle fighting in our corner. You, however, had time to hide the gun, didn't you, Chutney? After you shot your father. I didn't mean to shoot him. I thought it was you walking through the door. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.